Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have ourselves a market crash brought to you by a brand new Icon Upgrade SBC. I wanna take a look at why this market is dropping like crazy or why it dropped like crazy yesterday with the base mid Icon Upgrade SBC. The first time that we have seen that SBC this year in FIFA, it kind of destroyed the market because EA made that SBC at a very, I guess you could say, uh, doable price. And a lot of people are going out and completing that, taking the gamble, and they're selling cards in order to buy the fodder that they need to get that SBC done. So I want to take a look at why the market is down um, almost across the board, except for SBC fodder, because people are running and selling cards from their team to go and do a gamble upgrade SBC in that icon upgrade. Uh, I also want to talk about today on Monday. It's actually like a promo Monday, you know, if you kind of think about it in this way, because we have the foot versus fire cards that are going out of packs today at 6 p.m. UK, as you can see from this graphic here, but also today at 6 p.m. UK, we're going to have the ice cards coming into packs, right? There's two versions of Pulisic. Uh, there's two versions of Gabriel Jesus. This is the only ice card as of right now. I haven't even seen any leaks on Twitter, which is kind of a nice surprise, but we don't have any other uh, confirmed versions of the ice cards that are coming out today. So I'll talk about that as well. New promo cards and packs. It's the same 11 players that we've had over this weekend. They're just going to have like, again, Pulisic, like Everton, like those objective cards, they're going to have like an ice version uh, which is uh, going to be slightly different in terms of stats, maybe some more weak foot or skill move upgrades. So we'll talk about how the market could be impacted more today, still by the base a mid upgrade, and also how these new cards are going to be coming out on the game today. So yesterday was honestly crazy, right? It was honestly a wild day because of this SBC right here, the base mid icon upgrade, and EA released it at a very tempting price of right around 370,000 coins. It's just above 350k. And for a lot of people at this stage of the game, especially considering the last two weeks, we haven't had a base, uh, any sort of like icon upgrade SBC since Black Friday ended. It's been like a week and a half since we've had an SBC like this. I think people were craving for something like this. And also so many people have SBC fodder in their club. Last week, we had the 75 plus player picks. So people had been doing those and we haven't really had an expensive SBC apart from Vinny Jr. I think we, we really haven't had any SBCs that have been over 300,000 coins in the past like week, like since Black Friday ended really Team of the group stage last week, a lot of them were cheaper SBCs like the Kapu, stuff like that was on the lower end. Um, you know, if it was a popular SBC that people did, uh, so a lot of people have saved up fodder or they had invested for fodder to rise in the month of December. So that just gives, you know, that just sets a, cr a perfect scenario for what we saw yesterday with so many people doing this SBC, right? And it's even easy to see here on Footbin when you see the price, 370,000 coins, 82% upvote on this SBC. But you, you don't need to see Footbin's upvote, downvote percentage to know that so many people are getting this pack done. All you have to do is look at the market. This is the index icon. Yesterday, 72 points, which was already so low. Nosedive down to 67 points. And yes, there was a bit of a bounce back. We made some coins yesterday, buying some cards in that peak panic sell. And then of course they rebounded back a little bit naturally. We'll talk about that in this video as well, but a lot of stuff is still down like really bad, right? If you take a look at some of these cards, take a look at gold Varan. Gold Varan yesterday was 90,000 coins before the content drop. Yes, you could say that lightning rounds and more promo packs impacted this price a little bit, but I mean, you look back at Saturday, he went from, you know, 89 to 86 with the promo packs. So then yesterday he went from 90,000 coins to a 71,000 coins. So there was so much panic selling yesterday. Ronaldo is down. He was like 515,000 coins at a low point, I believe, yesterday on Sunday. He was in the 500 teens. Messi is down a bunch. Neymar continues to drop loads with the Vinny Player of the Month being out. And also what you can see is that people are doing SBCs. Take a look at Vinny Player of the Month's price, 790,000 coins. Fodder is on the rise because people are going out and doing Vinny Player of the Month, the base or mid upgrade. And that's got Vinny's SBC price going up about 60,000 coins on its own. The foot versus cards dropped off a lot yesterday. Adama Traore, I believe was like 200,000 coins on Sunday. Yeah, like 200,000 right underneath there. He's down to 150s where he is at the moment. I even believe that Joe Gomez, 
This Joel Gomez card is 380K right now. He was like, he's down like 100K. He was 470 pre-content yesterday on Sunday, and it was down at 370 just a little bit ago with some of these late night uh, lightning rounds that EA have continued to release. So again, the moral of the story is yesterday, this, this is also something to kind of just learn from, right? Because this is going to happen so many more times this year in FIFA is they're going to release an Icon SBC, a party bag, or like a guaranteed promo card pack SBC, like a gamble SBC, right? Basically is what this is. You know, the potential to get mid Ronaldinho or mid Zidane or mid Hullet is there, but also the potential to get base Laudrup or base, you know, um, I don't know, Cliver, that, that is a very real potential that you could be packing one of those two, but people just love that gamble aspect of these SBCs. We're going to have market movements like this so many more times throughout the rest of this year. So if you learn from what happened today, and we're going to talk about some of the cards that bounce back as well, and how this moved per some specific areas of the market, um, you're, you're going to be able to make coins when SBCs like this drop in the game so speaking of this sbc once again obviously icons were being packed from this so what happened to icons yesterday let's take a look at the index icon as we did it dropped off a ton but you did have a little bit of a bounce back right a couple icons that i was watching specifically um there was stuff that was low yesterday of course because of the you know it was a sunday people were expecting icon swaps which did obviously did not happen there's still some people that think that that might be uh, coming today, but let's take a look at a few cards, right? This base Blanc, if you take a look at his footman graph, I actually want to search him up and show you guys. Uh, this was a card that got panic sold so much yesterday, and this is just a card that so many people like to use in FIFA. He's just a very popular and, you know, he's not really that rare. Like, there's a lot of Blancs that are on the market. He's an 85-rated icon, but he's just meta and popular. Take a look at Blanc. He was 760K yesterday on Sunday before the content drop. He went all the way down to 670. I can tell you for a fact this guy was 650K uh, during the peak of that panic selling in the first hour or so after the SBC. He rebounded back to 720. Right now, he's back down a little bit to 690. So, you could have bought this card at 650 sold it at 720. I know that's a big price range, like very expensive for a lot of you guys that may not have that many coins, but this happened on all areas of the market. It happened on icons. It happened on out of pack special cards. It happened with the versus cards, right? Some of the best flips that I had from yesterday or some of the best movements that happened on the market yesterday were with this Danjuma. This 87 rated Danjuma just freshly upgraded. Everybody's excited to use this card. He was 92,000 coins before the content drop. The base icon gets released. He goes down to 77. He was actually about 73K and has now rebounded back up into the high 80s, uh, basically where he was before the big SBC was dropped, right? So again, what kind of stuff rebounds the best? The out-of-pack special cards are 100% the ones that rebound the best. I bought some Antonys at 150 low. He went back to 170. I was able to sell there. Tiago Jalo, right? Another one of the most popular center backs in the game right now. He was 320,000 coins, went down to 280s. I got a couple at 280, sold him back at 310K. So that's the kind of stuff that you want to look for are the out of packs cards that people panic sell, but cards that are still popular enough that they will bounce back later. Chiesa went from like 180 down to 150, back up to 170K. So rarity and you know popularity are your number two one and two things that you're going to want to focus on on days like this now i flipped a couple icons myself while well, one of them is still selling but one flip that i had was del piero because this is just a card that i know people like to use and this guy rebounds in price very very well so i bought del piero wow that's a big undercut there at 730 there's really not that much profit in it um but i bought a del piero at 715,000 coins and i sold him I think at like 770 or something like that. So a nice bounce back, right? 777 on Del Piero. So I bought some Keens as well. This one wasn't that great. I bought Robbie Keens in the 180s. He went back up to 207. Again, the Anthony's around 170 was decent. Um, I got an Atal at 140K. That was a, a decent trade. I got a Vinny Jr. in form at 167. So that was decent as well. You just, you just have to look for the most meta items that yes, people are gonna sell to go and do that new hyped and popular SBC. But some things are still gonna bounce back, especially since it was on the weekend. People are playing foot champs. They had weekend league games that they were going out and grinding. Uh, and there was demand, right? There was gameplay demand there for people to go finish games. So that's why you saw those cards bounce back 
in such a short time frame. And you know, that's kind of like the panic sell and the bit of the bounce back part of the market, right? Your out of pack special cards did the absolute best. The versus cards, you know, they moved a little bit, but stuff that is out of packs that has no more supply, even some gold cards, right? You know, you, you say, Nate, Conte went from 270,000 coins down to like 230K. Well, now he's back up like 255K. Yes, some of your most meta gold cards as well um, had good fluctuations yesterday. Like again, Conte was 280. He went down to 230. He did go back up to about 260 where he is now. But then you had other cards like Gold Bernaldo who went down to like 520 and is still only about 530K or Gold Varan went from 90,000 coins to 70K and is still there. So it's kind of hit or miss, right? And that's some of the cards that I bought yesterday, like those Keens, that was kind of a miss, right? On every single one of these Robbie Keen cards selling at like 207,000 coins, I'm only making like, you know, five to 6,000 coins profit after tax. Whereas, you know, on this Del Piero, of course, I'm making a lot more than that since I bought this at 715. You know, so there were some, there were some good flips out there. There were some flips that didn't really rebound as well. Uh, it's just all about like spending some coins in that market drop, buy some of those cards, expect a bounce back. Even though I'm selling a lot of these today for Monday, some of these cards, depending on how the content is today with the, the foot versus ice items, some of this market still could rebound back a little further. It really depends on what content that EA released today. And in my opinion, it, it depends on if they do lightning rounds as well. I honestly think that they might do some lightning rounds. Uh, before we get into the foot versus ice, I want to look at fodder. Just really quick though, because of course, that was a big part of the promo yesterday. The index 86s, not even the promo yesterday, the SBC yesterday, index 86 and all fodder is up. Yes, all fodder is up. So if you invested, you're feeling good, right? 88s are like 28,000 coins a piece. 87s are up like three to 4,000 coins a piece. In my opinion, if you bought fodder, which I did, I have fodder that is on my transfer list in my club. I'm not selling it right now. I'm really not selling it. I think the cards that had the best ROI yesterday were probably 88s, 89s, and 90s. You could have got Harry Kane's at like 40,000 coins. He's now like 46, 47. Um, I'm holding off on selling this stuff because I really think that what you saw yesterday was a lot of people went out and did this brand new SBC, but also so many people went out and they sold the fodder that they had been waiting to rise for the past week. And people that don't have as much patience went out and sold those cards. Now you're really going to see the big spikes in price. Like, you know, that 88 at some point again, could very well hit 33,000 coins. And you know, there's still only 27 K at the moment. So I think these cards and this fodder still has room to rise in the next couple of weeks, depending on what content is, what content we get with the new promo this coming Friday, whatever that promo is going to be. So if you have fodder and you're you don't need the coins right away. Of course, I'm not going to tell you to not sell uh, if you just want the coins back. If you're tired of holding fodder and you don't want to be in it anymore, you have an opportunity here to take a little bit of cash. I think that with today, weekend league rewards dropping early this morning on Monday, I think that's going to be another opportunity where people will get their rewards. They'll get some coins, open some packs, get some coins from those rewards, go out and do this SBC if they had not done it yet. We see it all the time where fodder might take a slight hit today at weekly rewards, but then even go higher uh, into today on Monday as people who haven't yet finished the whole entire base or mid SBC will go out and complete the rest of that SBC set right there. So that's basically everything about the whole um, crash and the whole rebound and everything like that in terms of the base mid icon pack. But I really just wanted to take a little bit of time and talk through why the market moved like it did yesterday on some of those icons and out of pack special cards, because we're going to see so many more SBCs like that uh, throughout this year. There's going to be, you know, many other opportunities to trade and to flip with some of these cards um, on this game that are going to fluctuate when we have big SBCs out like that. So that's why I wanted to spend some time talking about that. But let's talk about today on Monday, right? Again, the ice cards are going to be dropped today. We're going to have the exact same 11 players in packs, right? Rashford, Valverde, Gabriel Jesus, um, you know, of course, Kunde, Joe Gomez, Claude Maurice, Correa, Adama Traore. The interesting thing about today on Monday, especially since we don't have leaks about how they're going to do these upgrades, it really comes down to the skill move and weak foot upgrades that they put on these cards, right? As we see the Gabriel Jesus version, this is going to be the other ice version of Gabriel Jesus that will be in packs today. 
he got a minus four pace from his versus fire to his versus ice, but he got plus four shooting. So of course on the um, fire version of Gabriel Jesus, we have five star skills. He was one of the only cards that had a skill move or weak foot upgrade as a part of the versus fire team. What we're really curious to see today is, is EA Sports going to upgrade his weak foot now since they upgraded his skill moves on the fire version? Or does that mean that Gabriel Jesus is gonna get a weak foot upgrade? on the ice version, or are they randomly gonna upgrade some of the other ice versions today? Like let's say they give, maybe they gave Correa a weak foot boost or uh, a skill move boost uh, for today's, right? Like this is, this is the number one question mark heading into today's content. We really just don't know what boosts they're gonna do for these ice cards. So thinking about rewards today, these cards are gonna get supplied a little bit more, but this is their last chance in packs. I think what you, there's two things you're really looking out for today. It's gonna be on a per card basis, right? You're gonna have to look at each individual, individual specific item and say, okay, the ice version of Angel Correa that comes out today, this one is still four star, four star. It got a really nice boost. What, what are they gonna do today to an Angel Correa card and to give him another version, right? His biggest boost that he got was in shooting. So if you think about the other striker, Gabriel Jesus, and you think about his ice card, maybe they'll do the reverse effect on the Correa card. So since from Correa's gold, he got plus six shooting, plus three pace, and then plus threes and then plus four on passing everywhere else. So maybe what they're gonna do today is on the ice version of Correa, they'll give him 90 pace, but then they'll only give him like 86 shooting or something like that, right? Or I think the one that almost seems to be the most obvious to me is this Jules Kunde card because Kunde had a massive, massive dribbling boost on this foot versus fire. And I think he's actually just gone up in price. Yeah, 320,000 coins. He was just about 300K a couple minutes ago. Uh, but if you look at this upgrade from his gold card, he got a really big dribbling boost, but they didn't boost his physical that much. So I think what they might do for the ice version of Kunde today is they might drop his dribbling down to 78, but they might boost his physical up to 85, right? And then it really comes down to a card by card basis, which one is better. And if the better card comes out in the ice version today, of course, I know we don't have as many packs being opened on a you know, Monday as we would through, um, you know, like a Friday with the lightning rounds. I still think there's a very high potential that they would do lightning rounds uh, today on Monday. But I really, we really have to look out for these new cards that come out today, like a Kunde. Let's say they drop his dribbling, which is already really good for a center back, but they up his physical. Maybe that makes him more like desired by people playing this game. If the stat boost today on the ice cards look better, then the fire cards, I think you might see some of the fire cards dip down in price, but what you're also gonna see today is like, let's say they release a, um, a Dama Traore today that's got boosted shooting, right? Like a Dama Traore didn't have a really, really big boost on shooting uh, from his initial upgrade. He's like 75 shooting, 91 dribbling, 86 passing and 89 physical. From his gold card, they boosted up his passing big time. And he didn't get that big of a dribbling or, uh, or a shooting boost. So maybe what they'll do today is they'll drop his passing from this item, maybe down to like 82 or 83, but then they'll boost his shooting up to like 80 or 82 or 83, right? You know, it's something like that. And if they upgraded his weak foot as well, which would be very key, right? To this card becoming a lot more usable in game. Let's say they gave Adama Troy a four-star weak foot and they took like his passing down to 82, but his shooting up to 80, 82, right? That'd be crazy. That'd be a really crazy, insane boost. And a lot of people would want to go out and try that version of Adama a lot more than this current one, because this one has no weak foot upgrade and less shooting, right? So right now this is Carter just literally paced down the wing with no weak foot. So that would be the kind of thing I would watch out for today. And again, I really love to see like that there are not very many leaks. I haven't seen like any cards other than Gabriel Jesus uh, which has just been shown to us by EA Sports. Like we have, we really don't have a lot of ideas of what's coming today. So that could change, of course. There could be people that are posting leaks and stuff. But I love the fact that it's really kind of a mystery today. And but it just looks like the upgrades on these cards are just going to come down to a few of the stats, like the skill stats. I don't know about weak foot and the skill moves. That's going to be a big variable today as well. And I think they will do lightning rounds, as I mentioned, because day one for new promo cards coming into packs, I would almost 100% expect there to be some lightning rounds, even though it's a Monday. I mean, they ran shamelessly 
they ran a ton of lightning rounds last week on Wednesday for team of the group stage. So I see no problem with EA running the usual 50, 100, 125k pack lightning rounds today on Monday. I think that's really the market today. I don't expect a huge bounce back everywhere else. If all the cards that are released in the ice version are like not good upgrades, like this Gabriel Jesus one, if he has a five star weak foot, this one might be more valuable than the five star skill one that has a little bit more pace. Since this has 91 shooting on this Gabriel Jesus, and imagine a five star weak foot on that card, that would be nuts, right? I mean, his shooting already as it the insane upgrade that he got. If they, you know, plus four shooting on this he's going to have like 97 attack positioning 95 finishing 93 shot it's going to be an insane insane card with a little bit of that shooting boost so i'm really curious to see the stats and the cards that are dropped today that's what it boils down to uh, and that's how it's going to affect the market as well i still think a lot of people are going to have their eyes set uh on this SBC, right? This this base or mid icon is still going to impact the market. Fodder is going to go up after rewards. I'm, I don't think I'm really going to buy any of these cards. The only one that I would try to flip for after weekend league rewards today, heading into 6 p.m. I know these cards are going out of packs. That's the biggest thing. If the fire card looks like the better version of the foot versus like for that specific player, like let's say Claude Maurice, let's say they downgrade Claude Maurice's pace and he's no longer 90 pace but maybe they upgrade his defense a little bit. I mean, you know, it's going to depend. It's going to be on a card by card basis, but these cards are going out of packs and there's not going to be any more supply. So that's going to be a very vital part of the market. We're going to have to keep an eye on if the fire version is better then you might have to make a quick buy at 6 PM or around the 6 PM timeframe today, because it might mean that card going out of packs has more demand and actually continues to rise up. So other, otherwise today on Monday, a couple other quick pieces to talk about icon swaps. You know, you know, icon swaps, there's still an outside shot that would come today. If icon swaps drops today on Monday, I think that's going to really drain the market a lot more because people will have their motivation taken away from playing rivals and doing gameplay um, with their normal teams. And they'll be in the objectives tab grinding to get icon swap tokens and to get those icon packs or icon players that are a part of that. The one reason I don't think we're getting swaps today is because we don't have a loading screen. I know a lot of people have mentioned that is that we've gotten a loading screen in the past, the day before icon swaps has been released and we don't have that. So that's one thing that we don't have that would make it seem like it's not coming today. Um, in my opinion, I don't think it is, but we never know, right? EA could just not be doing loading screens for swaps this year in general. So that's a big thing we're looking out for today. And still that Mertens SBC, right? Still the Mertens SBC, which I think maybe would hurt the price a little bit of like a Gabriel Jesus or a Correa. Um, some of the strikers that are in this team might get hurt a little bit depending on the price of that Mertens SBC that is a quote unquote leaked, right? It's a leak. It is definitely not confirmed. But we are expecting an SBC soon. It just has not happened yet. So I'm number one, really, really curious to see what the ice cards look like today. It's going to be a very interesting day on the market. And if they if they do release swaps, that's going to make a lot of this stuff go down more. But it should be a pretty good trading day too. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how these fire cards are going to react heading into 6 p.m. I mean, you would think that people after rewards might buy them to go try them out. But of course, people are going to know that new versions of these exact same cards are coming today. So I can see some of them rising up before 6 p.m., but then the unknown of what the ice card is going to look like might change some prices. That's going to be the most interesting part of the market to watch today, in my opinion. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did find it helpful, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it. Down, comment down below if you have any questions about the market, this foot versus promo that is still very confusing. Maybe we'll understand it a little bit more after today. Probably not, uh, but that's going to be you know, the big, the, the biggest thing that this promo is, is kind of living up to is just the fact that it's so confusing. So we're going to look back on foot versus and be like, man, that was just a weird promo because we thought we were getting five star week from the skill moves, but we didn't only on a very few specific cards. So also, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. It has been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.